A lot of people are talking about the graft in Ottawa, the tens of millions of dollars that are wasted, the $30 million hasn't even come back to the government yet. But is Trudeau going to get a free ride? Kim Wright from Wright Strategies is going to be answering that. We're broadcasting from the secret bar on top of George Restaurant in Queen Street East in Toronto. And Kim Wright, I put the question to you. Will Trudeau get a free ride after all of this? So I think a lot, of, a lot of what we're seeing is that there's a bit of COVID cover. Canadians are worried about what's happening with themselves. There are also two years before the next election. In that meantime... Will we forget? Is he hoping that we'll forget? I, I think there's a lot of other things that might happen. There are a lot of uh, small businesses and medium businesses that are about to lose their, their livelihood, and we're seeing that every day. There are people with disabilities who aren't getting help. Let's you know, talk about the pol things. national politics, Kim. Some people are saying, well, you know, the Tories are leaderless, so we can't vote for them. They may have a leader by them, but who knows the way it's going. The NDP, well, we don't like the NDP. I don't know if you're going to stick up for the NDP. So they're saying there's no alternative to the Liberals. Well, there's always an alternative. And that's really why our, people like Jagmeet Singh and Charlie Angus and the rest of the New Democrat Caucus are actually doing a fair job of reminding Canadians what's actually important in all of this. Right. How does this, how does this unfold? And really, what does what do Canadians want coming out of this, coming out of COVID, going into the next two years? How do we recover the economy? But most importantly, how do we make sure Canadians are safe from a public health and safety standpoint? So I know that you're an NDP strategist. I'll put that out right now. Are you suggesting that the NDP are going to be in a strong position in two years in the election? Absolutely. One, if you remember back to the last election, most people said Jagmeet Singh ran a really great six week campaign and should have run a good six month campaign. He's, he will have had a full amount of time to really showcase to Canadians who he is, uh, showcase to Canadians what he wants to be and what he wants for Canadians. Th that's up to them to choose at the end of the day, but he has the time and the opportunity to really showcase that. And put on your nonpartisan hat here for a second, Kevin. Tell me, what do you think about the Tories' chances in the next election, no matter who they have as leader? No matter who they have as leader, if they can't answer the simple questions of gay rights, women's rights, women's right to choose, they are still going to continue to be mired in the same problems that they continue to have had under Andrew Scheer. And they need a clear answer. They need clarity from their leader. And I don't think Derek Sloan gets it there for them. Okay. Boy, all my friends in Alberta and West are going to have a tough time with that answer. But Kim Wright, you're always on top of things. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's three minutes. Thank you for watching. We are going to continue to broadcast from the secret bar here on top of the George Restaurant Courtyards on Queen Street East in Toronto. In these days where politicians are spending a lot of your money, Parliament's not sitting, it's important to have an independent news source. That's what we are doing. We hope you subscribe.